So, Huawei's latest flagship phone, the P60 Pro, currently uses the IMX888 as its main camera model, which has a sensor size of 1 by 1.43 inches. With Huawei's strong research and development capabilities, the P60 Pro's camera has achieved industry-leading image quality. If Huawei does indeed use a 1-inch sensor in its upcoming flagship phones, it would be a significant upgrade and set a new standard in smartphone imaging. The larger sensor size would allow for more light to be captured, resulting in better image quality, especially in low-light conditions. Recently, rumors have been circulating that Huawei is testing 1-inch Super Bottom main camera for its upcoming Mate and P-Series flagship phones. But before further we do, if you do end up liking what you see here, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now, let's get back to the video. So, the specific model has not been confirmed. It is believed that Huawei may be using the Sony IMX989 sensor, which is currently used in domestic smartphones with a 1-inch sensor. However, it is important to note that Huawei is known for cropping sensors to smaller sizes in order to achieve specific desired image quality. For example, the company has previously used the IMX888 52 megapixel sensor cropped to 48 megapixel, the IMX858 50 megapixel sensor cropped to 40 megapixel, and the OV64B 64, 64 megapixel sensor cropped to 48 megapixel in its latest P60 flagship phones. It is currently unknown whether Huawei will crop the 1 inch sensor or not. The Sony IMX989 CMOS sensor has an actual size of 1.02 inches with a 4 to 3 ratio rather than the conventional 3 to 2 ratio. It uses an advanced process and has a faster readout speed which helps to take into account the amount of light and uses a quad Bayer color array. Additionally, the IMX989 is equipped with an octa PD phase detection focusing system which means each sub-pixel has the ability to focus. The CMOS sensor also supports pixel fusion and the fused pixel area can reach 3.2 micrometer making it more suitable for dark light shooting. It is important to note that Huawei has faced several challenges in recent years including restrictions on access to certain technologies due to US trade sanctions. However, the company has continued to invest heavily in research and development and has even developed its own Harmony OS operating system as an alternative to Android. So, what do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.